jump cleared it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are here once again at Cayuna. It's my second day out here. Uh, the first day I had an awesome ride, riding a new trail, not open to the public yet. Um, that video should already be out, um, so you know what that's all about. Um, but for this video, my main goal is to go over to Wintz in the Yaki unit. And really, I wanna get the majority of the trail um, cleared. I just, last time I was out here, I think it was in June, I hit maybe the first two jumps. The rest of the trail, I just, I, I literally just rolled it. Just wasn't feeling comfortable that day um, doing stuff like that. So we're gonna head over to Wintz. This may be my last time up here in Cayuna. Um, so this is kind of my last chance to redeem myself. I'm in the skills area right now. Just practicing some jumps i'm um, getting warmed up if you guys follow my instagram you know i stayed at red rider resort um, it's an awesome place i stayed in one of the cabins cabin number five um, so towards the end of the video i'll put in a little um, kind of tour of the cabin um, and i will also put a link to their website as well as their instagram um, so you can go check out their cabins their campsites and their rv sites i had a great time last night um, just relaxing by the fire um, and having a really nice place to stay for the night. But enough talking from me. Let's go hit some trails and let's go have some fun. Let's do some practice on the jump line. The lips are really worn out. All right, everyone. We are on top of the trail. Wince, Winsy, Wince whatever you want to call it. And hopefully today is the day that I can say I cleared most of Wentz. Let's give it a go. Make sure my feet are all good. All right, here we go. Okay, first up. Cleared it. Second jump, cleared it. Third jump, cleared it. All right. This gets a little tricky here. Not gonna clear that one. Clear that one. Then clear that one. Switch back. This run was definitely not my best. I forgot to record the other runs during the ride, but this one was for sure better than last right. time that I was here at Winds. I'll hit that one next time. Oh, I'm gonna slid out. Got it though. <sighs> okay, I'm alive. Well, folks, besides a couple of the jumps, I would say that was a success. I would say that's some pretty good redemption for myself. There is no better feeling than setting a goal and accomplishing it. Still some work to be done on my jumping ability, but I feel like I'm definitely going in the right direction that I need to go. I finally was able to commit to the trail wins and for the most part, get about 80% of the trail. There were two jumps towards the bottom um, that uh, I think the berms are getting a little washed out. Um, At this point, I decided to cut myself off. It was not the trail, it was me and my poor setup. To an extent, the conditions were pretty dry, but I'll take 100% responsibility. Go past it and then pedal, pedal, pump, and then be able to clear the next one after that. Having the opportunity to come back up here um, and ride for two days, I was like, well, let's make it a goal to go hit winds or Winsy and uh, clear most of the trail. And look at that, I did, I'm super happy. Um, it's really the best feeling is 
when you first go to a trail and you're like, oh, that looks awesome. Um, I want to go ride it. And then you get to the trail, you get there and you're like, okay, this is pretty cool, but I just don't feel comfortable um, riding it. Um, obviously on camera, it looks smaller. When you get to the trail in person, um, the jumps are a lot bigger. It looks a lot more intimidating. Um, so that was my real big holdup. This may be my last trip up to Kiuna. Um, so I definitely wanted to to be something that I was gonna go for and try my hardest to do it. And I did it, look at that, oh, amazing. All right, so the riding is done and it is time to sit back and relax. And I am staying here at Red Rider Resort and I am staying at cabin number five. It is the Emanuel Pit Palace. I wanna give you guys kind of a mini tour of this cabin. Um, Red Rider Resort has a bunch of these cabins. Um, I will put a link to their Instagram as well as I'll put a link to their website so you can check these cabins out um, and all the different rates and availability as well as they have RV sites and tent sites um, that you can rent out. Um, so just an overview of the outside. We have a picnic table here, fire pit right here, the fire grade, and as well as here is just another um, charcoal grill. And then out here, we just kind of have this nice patio area um, where you can sit on these chairs that they provide. Um, so there's four of them here. Uh, there's also a outside outlet and there's two um, outside lights as well. This has a screen door. So if you want to keep the door open, we have the main area in here. Um, so we have a table over here. We have a mini fridge over here. This at first I thought was a chandelier, but this is actually for um, your clothes to hang up if you need them to dry out. A bike rack, which you can actually detach from in here. And then there's a little mount right here. And boom, there you go. You have a bike stand to do any repairs or any adjustments that you would need from your days out riding. So this is a two bedroom unit, one on the left, one on the right. Um, we'll check out the right one. You have a light switch right here. You have a thermostat. You also as well as have a smart TV in here. Um, this cabin, they do provide linen. Um, some of the cabins, um, I don't remember what the numbers are, um, but they don't provide the linen. But with this, they provide linen. The only thing that you need is you need to bring your own pillow. And then we have in here the restroom or bathroom. There I am, hello. And then we have a thermostat in here as well. And then we have obviously a sink, some outlets, a little bit of storage down here. And then again, with this one, not all cabins provide this. Um, they provided uh, with some shower towels. And then behind the door, we have the shower, decent size shower. And then another cool thing about this is this is on manual mine pit. Um, so cabin number five and all the cabins um, along this stretch. Um, where they're located is on right on the lake. Um, over there is a dock that goes down to the lake. If it was warmer, I'd probably go swimming, but uh, since it's 50 degrees, I am not going swimming. And the other cool thing is uh, this resort has an access trail to Yaki unit. Um, so literally you can wake up, get on your bike and head over to um, Yaki unit and then obviously hit the other units in the recreation center. Even that in itself is freaking sweet. Um, that they have that available for people who are staying here. If you guys liked the video, go ahead, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more trails and more things like this from me, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next trail.